see what I told you about that music thingy. That makes so much more epic scene. But anyway, our last stage as Shadow, also our last stage in the Dark Story. I can't believe what they did to Shadow. David Humphrey was perfect. He made Shadow have some emotion. This game would have worked if there was Jason Griffith playing as Shadow. Shadow the Hedgehog was such a fail. He sounded like some retarded emo guy with no idea what to do. And just will to destroy everything. That's not the Shadow we know. The Shadow we know is... Uh, Well, I don't even know what kind of shadow we know anymore. Shadow has only been the real shadow in two games. This game is the first one, where he was introduced. And Sonic Battle is the second one. I think Shadow was pretty good in that game also. Not as good as this one, but pretty good too. And some people may not have played it, I understand that completely. I wouldn't have played it either if I hadn't find it. Sometimes in the beginning of my Sonic fandom. It's for uh, Game Boy Advance, it's a really good game. But then again it might not be very appealing. But it's fun. And it's very good. It's just not a platformer. But it has a good story. And there's the power up, but it appears that I don't get it right now. Maybe I will get it later. I don't really like this whole gravity thingy. These gravity poles are pretty weird. I don't skip the point of this rail either. Anyway, let's move on. That was retarded. And to prove how retarded it is, I will restart. For a punishment. And to waste some more time. And to speak more about Shadow. I hope that Shadow's voice actor gets replaced too. Then again, he has been... I don't actually even remember which... Well, okay, he was in Sonic and the Black Knight, but... Not as Shadow. Maybe that's why he was pretty okay in that game, because he didn't play himself. Is it just me, or does every single thing get affected by gravity while you're on these gravity things? because the rings act quite weird too when you're on these. Oh well, spin just jump as usual. Get the gold sentinel. Okay, this commentary is now really pointless. I might as well talk about random things, like Sonic Colors and Sonic 4. Now then, I have quite high accepts. Exceptions from Sonic Colors, even though I know I shouldn't, since I will probably get disappointed. And even the name, it sounded retarded to me first. It does actually sound retarded to me now. And the whole concept of using some weird ali alien wisps for power ups sounded a bit stupid. But some of them seem to work. I don't like the boosting. But since the level design is designed for boosting, it's okay then. It would be even stupider without the boosting, so whatever. And here's the power-up. Mystic Melody. I love that sound eff effect. But anyway, I will show you how it works now. Since there's just... One of these things. So it causes a weird thing to come out and teleport you to a random place. And 
But yeah, about Sonic Colors. It really seems like the mix of Sonic Unleashed, Wii and Xbox 360 version. And well, I didn't really like Sonic Unleashed because it, the level design was too linear. Something this game did better. Level design is awesome in this stage, in this game. And actually everything is better in this game than in Sonic Unleashed, except by the graphics. But yeah, the graphics don't matter that much before me. And besides, I like the graphical style of this game more, because this has some character textures. They seem more like animals than just shiny plastic toys. But, then again... Who cares? Sonic Unleashed was probably... Oh wait, we are in the space in that game, so who cares? Nothing. I was about to say that we wasn't in space in that game, but actually you were, so... That's pointless. So yeah, Sonic Colors might be okay, but from what I've seen from now, I think it isn't that great. Okay, let me through, you stupid idiot. Okay, that was weird. But I don't mind a bit weirdness. And now, since I'm feeling stupid, I jump right here. So I don't have to go, go through all that gravity screwing up thing. I think it's a bit faster too. That looks retarded. Anyway, to the go. Here we go. Yeah. So, well, Sonic Colors might be or might not be good. I will probably do a walkthrough of it when it comes out, or when I get it, if you want me to. I don't think it's a 100% walkthrough, but who cares?